today I am going to give these counters a makeover. Um, you guys have seen my past videos where I painted our appliances stainless, I painted our tub white, and I also painted our backsplash. So if you guys want to see those videos, definitely check them out. They'll be linked down below. But today we're going to work on this countertop. It's brown. It's ugly. I just feel like it needs a makeover. You guys really wanted me to do this. I'm a little nervous to test it out at home. So we're going to test it out on these countertops. So let's get started. Today we're back with another one of these crazy appliance hacks or refinishing hacks. So a lot of you guys wanted me to test out this marble countertop paint. I love being your guinea pig and trying these products out. So that's what we're doing today. Here I have some steel wool grade zero zero and I'm just going over the counters with them to make sure they're smooth and all of the grime is off. The instructions did say to use, um, I think it said Brillo or an SOS pad, but I had these on hand and I feel like they work so good, so that's what I went with. Next, I'm just taking a flat edge and removing all of the excess caulking off. So I actually bought this product back in the summer and I was going to do it to our counters in our house and I just chickened out and got kind of scared. I didn't know if it was gonna look good or not. So I returned the product and once we bought the camper, I thought it was the perfect time to test this out. I think we're gonna put butcher block counters in, but I figured while we have this empty countertop, we might as well test it, and if we like it, then we can have this faux marble countertop. But if not, we can just take it out put the granite, or not put granite in, put the butcher block in, and we don't have to worry about it. So I just took some alcohol, and I am just cleaning off the counter. Again, it doesn't say to do this, but I felt like it was a really important step, and seeing what was on the paper towel, I felt like it was really good that I did it. So now I'm taking some frog tape. Everyone in the last video told me to use frog tape and not the blue tape. Um, Connor tells me this all the time, but we just have so much blue tape at home. I didn't feel like buying frog tape, but I actually went to Walmart and they sold frog tape for $7, which is so cheap. So I picked up a couple rolls and we are good to go. So here is the star of the show, the marble countertop kit. Um, so I got this on Amazon. I believe it was $86. I thought it was kind of pricey. Um, but once I opened up the box and saw everything that was in it, I feel like it is such a great deal. So it comes with this white board, which will help you to practice your marble veining. It comes with this sponge, and then there's a spray bottle. It comes with another paintbrush that's underneath this roller. And then it comes with the white and gray veining. It also comes with the clear coat. Wait, then it comes with two um, rollers. Then it also comes with a paintbrush and the white primer. So I am wearing a face mask. I always get questions if you need a face mask or not. This product actually didn't smell, but if you guys can see in the back, I had a heater on because it was kind of a cold day when I did this and paint doesn't apply well in the cold. So I closed all the windows, put this mini heater in and I just didn't wanna be in an enclosed space with a heater and these fumes. It was just a recipe for me to probably pass out. So I wore that just to be safe. So now I'm just taking the little sponge paintbrush and I'm going to paint over the edges and all around the appliances. So this little piece of trim here, if you guys have this at home, you would probably want to take this out and then just tape um, so that it doesn't get on your backsplash. But we are doing a complete remodel on our camper. So this is just going to be painted over anyway. And we're going to put backsplash and things like that. So for us, it really doesn't matter if paint gets on the backsplash area or like on this wood. Everything is fine. So we're just going to paint over that. Um, so now in these tight corners, I just used the little paintbrush and I also used it in the back there and um, also just painted along the appliances. That way I could get as close to them as possible. If you guys are like me and aren't the best um, tapers, I feel like whenever I tape, um, it just doesn't always go great. So I usually try to just not tape. Um, so sometimes when you peel the tape off, there's gonna be like a brown line left over where you weren't close enough. With this, it doesn't matter because you will end up caulking your appliances in place. So it's gonna cover that up, so don't go too crazy with trying to get your tape really close. So now for the first coat, 
I'm using the roller and I'm just applying a thin layer. The first coat of anything always ends up looking horrible and really streaky, so don't freak out if it looks really bad. This is a very scary process, especially if you're doing this to semi-nice counters. We have granite counters at home, so I feel like if I was doing this to a granite, granite countertop, I would probably be freaking out a lot. Um, it's kind of one of those things you just have to trust the process and hope that it goes well and just not freak out. There's always a solution to fixing things, so you just have to trust yourself and go with it. So I'm also just painting the sides of the counter, and this is what the first coat looks like. So now it's time for the second coat. You do need to let this dry for four hours in between, but I think because I had the heater in here, it dried so quick, like definitely did not take a full four hours, maybe took two, um, but just I guess check to see when it's dry and then you should be good to go. Um, I think it, the instruction said you would only need two coats of paint, but as you guys could see, I definitely needed more than two. I'm not sure if it's because my counters are super dark or maybe I just wasn't doing the coats heavy enough. So I ended up doing three coats and you guys can see that last coat looks so gorgeous. So I'm now taking off the tape and as you guys can see, there are very little spots where you can see the brown through, but like I said, the caulking will completely cover all of that, so you don't need to go crazy or try to fill that in with a tiny paintbrush or anything. You guys can just leave it as is. So now it's time for the really scary part, which is the gray veining. So you're gonna need the step number two, which is the paint. You're gonna need the water spray bottle, the big paintbrush, and then this little paintbrush. So from what I've seen online and in the instructions, they say to use your hand very loosely, kind of wiggle the brush and don't do straight lines. And that was something that I found was doing different shapes like a U shape um, actually made it look really natural. So once you paint it on, you are going to take your spray bottle and spray it with water and then take the big brush and kind of push it all around. As you guys can see, the first one went horribly and I was just like, this is going to look so bad. I don't understand. The second one won a little better but looked horrible. And then the third one was a little bit more decent. But what I do wanna say is that painting on this board is completely different from painting on the actual countertops. I think it's so much easier doing this on the countertops. It looks so much better on the countertops. So I wouldn't let this step scare you. The one thing that is unfortunate is that by the end of painting your counters and veining them, I feel like you become a pro at it. So usually the ends of your counter will end up looking better than the beginning. So if you have a spot that's not as visible, maybe start there. Um, that way you can kind of get used to the process. So here we go, our first vein. I was so nervous and like I said, I'm not even most likely keeping this countertop so I can't imagine doing this to my actual counter. So I'm just spraying it and pushing it out. It did make it really difficult holding a camera because I just felt like I was overthinking things and just getting nervous. Um, I will say that the more veins you put in, the more natural it looks because after I did like two veins, I thought it looked horrible and I was like, I'm not gonna recommend this product. But the more I did it, I felt like it looked really great. And as you guys can see here, I did a U shape and I think that shape actually looks really great and natural. I looked at my parents' countertops just to kind of get an idea of what a natural marbled countertop would look like. And they had some like specks and dots and things like that. So I also um, added some dots and specks to the counter. I'm sorry you guys can't really see super well here. I think the water kind of like made it not super visible of what it looks like. Um, but I just kept going with it and just kept adding different shapes um, and some specs and I think it turned out really great. What helps to make this look really natural is make sure that your veins also flow to the edges of your countertops because I think that's a dead giveaway that it's not natural if they don't line up. 
So this is an optional stuff that they give you, which is a white highlight you can add to the gray veining. I decided to skip it because I didn't want to mess it up and I really liked the way that it came out. So now we're going to go to step three, which is the high gloss top coat. It does look kind of blue, so don't be afraid. Um, it will dry clear. Um, so again, I just poured this onto my handy dandy plate and then we can just roll this onto the counters. I did take this brush and again, just went over the edges and then I rolled it on. I also tried to get as close as I could to the appliances with this because you want it to be sealed in and shiny. Um, if you do get it on your appliances, it's not a big deal. You guys will see in a few clips, I just took a tissue and wiped it off. I left it for probably like five minutes and it didn't affect um, the appliances at all. Um, I know they do recommend to put more tape on it, but I just hate taping, so I skipped that step. So putting the clear coat on can be a little tricky. The first one I did, um, I wasn't applying like a heavy pressure to the brush. So if you guys can see here, you can almost see that it looks a little bit blotchy. Um, and what I learned the best way to apply this is just apply it um, kind of in whatever movement you want, whether it's like up and down, side to side. But make sure that your last movements are always the brush going forward and coming back at you. So it's always like a straight line. I hope that makes sense. But um, yeah, it's kind of hard to explain. It's one of those processes that you just get more as you go along with it. It's like a trial and error. So this is the second coat and you guys can see it looks so much better. So I wanted to give you guys kind of a vision of what it would look like with the tile. This is the tile that we got for our backsplash and look how good this marbled countertop looks with the backsplash. I am so amazed at this product. Um, I don't think this product is gonna last forever just like the dishwasher or the tub or the backsplash that we've done, but I think it's a really good option for an in-between stage if you are um, maybe just like trying to save up money for marble countertops. I think this is a really good in-between and maybe keep it for like a couple years. Um, I have heard a lot of people recommend putting an epoxy over the top of it to seal it in. Um, we're trying to not go to the store as much because New York is under state of emergency due to Corona. So I wasn't um, able to actually go to the store and get any epoxy, but I would definitely recommend putting that on and then also make sure you guys caulk around all of your appliances. I didn't do that because I just put the last coat of clear on this morning and you have to wait a full 12 hours before caulking it in. But I wanted to get this video up so you guys could see it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have tried this out at home, let me know how it worked. And if you guys have any other fun requests like this, let me know. But I'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.